G'day, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm from uh, Brisbane. Uh, 24 hours to get here, um, but totally worth it because I get to welcome you to ArgoCon and uh, I get to see snow, which is not a common thing where I'm from. Uh, this is our fourth KubeCon, but very, uh, and ArgoCon, sorry, but very excited to be here. Um, not to be confused with Argo, so Argo is of course your favorite orange octopus, we're the blue octopus. Uh, we've been octopus deployed since 2012, uh, um, but uh, very proud to be a sponsor here today. Um, so just quickly on us, our focus is on continuous delivery, we've helped thousands of customers to do continuous delivery to Kubernetes uh, and everywhere else. Um, some of our customers are uh, you know, pizza stores that deploy to Kubernetes clusters in all of the stores, uh, hardware stores that have Kubernetes clusters everywhere, um, and uh, SaaS companies and, and pretty much everything. We also work with a lot of really large enterprises, Fortune 500 companies, that are trying to figure out how to roll Kubernetes and Argo out to uh, not just you know, one or two teams, but 10 teams, 20 teams, 100 teams, 500 teams. So that's where we focus on. Uh, we're not a Silicon Valley startup. We, uh, we started Octopus 12 years ago and bootstrapped it to where we are today. We've got uh, 4,000 customers, 320 employees, uh, and we're profitable, we're growing, we're hiring. Um, so uh, please, please come and check us out. Very excited to host you today. Uh, we're also the only company in the world with a two-story tentacle, um, which is the kind of thing you get to spend money on when you don't have VCs telling you what to do. Um, but I'm also here as the representative for CodeFresh because uh, you might have seen that um, uh, about six months ago we acquired CodeFresh. So uh, I met Dan and the CodeFresh team um, at uh, ArgoCon a year ago uh, and we were very impressed with their vision around GitOps and how to bring GitOps to teams that are going to be doing GitOps at scale, um, which dovetails really nicely with our focus on continuous delivery. Um, uh, and, uh, and actually, so it's my second ArgoCon. I'm curious, um, uh, is this, uh, put your hand up if this is your first ArgoCon. Wow, well done, well, welcome. Uh, anyone who's been here from last year? And you came back, that's fantastic. Well, it's amazing to see so many new people. It's uh, the scale of this event, as you saw this morning, uh, and the scale of the Argo community is, is, is amazing. Um, so at Octopus today now, we found ourselves with, uh, with two products. We've got Octopus Deploy, which focuses on CD, and then we have CodeFresh, which focuses on GitOps. So CodeFresh works as a managed control plane for Argo instances, uh, and it has really powerful features like promotions to be able to promote changes between lots of clusters, uh, lots of Argo instances. Um, the, the main uh, problem space we focus on is you're adopting Argo, you're adopting GitOps, but you're trying to work out how to bring it to that 10th team, to that 100th team, uh, large applications, that's where we, where we focus. Now, we decided to partner with CodeFresh um, because uh, we feel like they've been very important contributors to Argo. You saw this morning in the keynote just how many companies are involved uh, in making Argo what it is today, and, and CodeFresh is one of those. Um, when Intuit uh, donated CodeFresh to, uh, donated uh, Argo to the CNCF, uh, they, were, they were very insightful on something. They thought, if we can get vendors to build products and services around Argo, that's going to help a lot of companies to adopt it, that's going to make the project more successful, it's going to make the community more successful. So they really saw the value in the entire ecosystem, and they reached out to a lot of vendors, and CodeFresh was the first to join, about three months after um, Argo became part of the CNCF. Uh, CodeFresh was also the first company to launch training for Argo um, a long time ago. Uh, now, you're all experts in this room. You probably don't need to get certified, but there are going to be people on your team where uh, learning GitOps, learning Argo, how to do it well um, from a company that have, that have helped thousands of companies to do it uh, is going to be very helpful. And so uh, you can get a, a discount code there today or come chat with us uh, at the booth. Um, now, CodeFresh, uh, we're not just building on top of Argo, we're very prolific contributors. Not as prolific as Michael Crenshaw, <laughs> that's a very hard, uh, very hard bar to meet. Um, but Pasha and Dan, uh, both at Octopus, and so, you know, very proudly take up the number two and number three positions. Um, uh, and uh, uh, we're also the number one contributor for security fixes. To, to Argo, and so, and the reason for that is, of course, we're working with so many enterprise customers. Security is a really big concern. Uh, you saw that in the keynote this morning, how much security stuff has happened in, in the last year, and, and that's a big focus for us too. And the reason that we contribute so much 
to Argo is, of course, now we've got two products that are built on top of Argo. Octopus is using Argo uh, for a lot of our observability um, features that we shipped this year. And then, um, of course, Codefresh is built completely around Argo. Um, but a lot of the contributions we make also are just on behalf of our customers. So our customers, they're using Argo, they're using our products, they hit something that seems strange, they work with our support team, we find a bug in Argo and we fix it and we contribute it on their behalf. Um, so you don't have to have all of your engineers becoming experts on Argo, uh, we, can, we can help with that. Um, now, I'll, I'll kind of uh, wrap up, last thing from me. Uh, you saw in the keynote this morning that there are so many people involved in making Argo what it is. And I want to underscore just how important this is. It's, it's actually, I think, fairly unique. Um, if you look at projects like Terraform, you've got you know, an open source project that's very successful, very popular, but has kind of one main vendor that is, that is supporting it. And the project is very dependent on that vendor. And you see a bit of a rift in that community now as that friction comes into it. Um, you see a similar thing if you've been following the drama with WordPress recently, right? Uh, but this isn't a dynamic that Argo has because there's so many vendors contributing to it, so many companies contributing, and so many um, just people contributing to it that uh, we don't have that same kind of friction. So it's one of the purest examples of, of open source, and that's what makes it, I think, so successful and, and very much a safe bet if you're figuring out how to do GitOps. Um, so, look, we're here today um, and all week. Uh, we're here for ArgoCon, we're here at EdgeCon, and we're here at, uh, at KubeCon. We've got a large booth there. Um, but I'd encourage you, like, I hope you come and talk to us, but I hope you'll also talk to all of the other vendors because the vendors do a huge amount of, of work in supporting Argo. Um, that's it for me. It's 3 a.m. where I came from, so I'm fading out. I'm going to get a coffee. Thank you for, for listening to me. Thank you.